السلام علیکم گائز دس از می شہریار مبارک آن مائی چینل حسن علی ود انادر ایپیسوڈ آف مائی ٹیک ویل کولمبیا یونیورسٹیز پروٹیسٹ پرو پیلسٹائن پروٹیسٹ اور پرو پیلسٹائن سیٹنگ آف کولمبیا یونیورسٹی اسٹوڈنٹس ان دی کولمبیا یونیورسٹی لان اٹس ریچ اٹس ففتھ ڈے ٹو ڈے بیک آن دی تھرڈ ڈے دی Columbia University president allowed police, New York Department, uh, New, uh, NYPD to make arrest and around 108 students or activists who were participating in the protest held in, on, on the lawn of Columbia University, New York campus, they were arrested. They were arrested and this protest is now been going on from for fifth day. It's a, it, it, it will it be a week on the Tuesday, but The protest is happening at Columbia University, New York. Ilhan Omar's daughter, the New York Congresswoman, Ilha, uh, the, Congresswoman the American Congresswoman, Ilhan Omar's daughter, she was also one of those three students who were initially suspended from university and their uh, student cards were remoked, uh, revoked. Their housing facility or in which we called the hostels and in our countries or uh, the, this, uh, the hostels of students or the housing facility that it is called there, their dorms, they were cancelled. They were not allowed to stay or use the housing if they participate in the protest, which is a right of expressing yourself, expressing your opinion peacefully by telling your opinion, by saying to the world that I do not disagree, I, I do not agree with this thing, I do not agree with this narrative. They were just peacefully protesting and that's then this protest spread it was initially i think three to five students who started this and that's this encampment happened and now it's more than 100 students sitting in the lawn of columbia university new york campus and outside the campus building there are hundreds of people who are in solidarity with the students, standing in, in solidarity with the students and saying and calling for the ceasefire in Gaza and asking you know, these students who were asking initially university for calling ceasefire and ask and divest and de-invest from the Israeli businesses who are helping this genocide of Gaza. It is a very simple demand or a very simple Uh, notion that they were putting that call for the ceasefire and also de-invest from these businesses who are support these companies Israeli companies or businesses who are supporting genocide of innocent children innocent women and innocent men of Gaza innocent civilians of Gaza Palestine people are dying in Palestine 34,000 plus people have been killed in Palestine around 77,000 people are injured 14,000 children have been killed 10000 women so far have died in gaza these palestinians who are losing their life these american students these students who in columbia university sitting in the lawn of columbia university in camp, uh, camping in the columbia university from last five days now they are not all muslims yes there are arabs and muslim students including there they are there but these students include every nationality they are americans they are white they are black they are asians they are arabs they are europeans they are uh, uh, they are africans they are from everywhere they are from every continent the, they are those people who are anti war who are against this colonialism who are against this genocide who are against the ethnic cleansing of palestinians of gaza who are against the killing of innocent civilians of uh, palestine gaza who are against this war who are against the american government's policy to sponsor this war by enabling by uh, providing aid 26 billion aid to israel in the name of this you know, in, in the name of israeli security they are providing more money and us congress two days back passed it passed it only 58 people from both parties whether they were democratic or they were uh, f- from uh, republicans 58 people objected two or three didn't vote they abstained and around 300 plus 350 plus people if, if, if i'm not wrong they voted in favor for passing that bill which provided 
the larger number of aid to israeli forces to israeli army to israeli state to help them continue to help them enabling them to continuing the genocide of gaza to help them in 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 continuing the israeli genocide of gaza these protesting protesters are asking their university to ask to call for ceasefire to call uh, for ceasefire to call for stop stop israeli hostilities on the people of palestine to stop this bloodshed in gaza to stop this massacre in gaza to stop this ethnic cleansing in gaza but in reaction they the arrest uh, the, the students said that we do not care how much racism how much islamophobia how much uh, uh, how much pain that we have to suffer how much political pressure how much uh, 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 administrative pressure how much university is pressurizing us but we will not get up this is not the first time that american university students have did have done this uh, sort of a protest in 1968 anti vietnam war protesters sit in in the lawn at, at the lawn of columbia university and these brave students who are not just only palestinians or arabs or muslim students they are from all nationalities they are from all religions they are from all colors all ethnicities all creeds they are sitting there they are sitting they are asking they are calling their university to take the cognizing of this fact that israeli state israeli army is killing people of gaza is killing innocent civilians and children of gaza they are asking their university to deinvest from the businesses who are supporting who are enabling this genocide it is not just only the uh, columbia university students who are sitting in their lawn now yale university students are sitting in their lawn in solidarity with the students of columbia university harvard university south carolina universities uh, the other other prominent universities in, uh, in america are now doing the same that they are showing the students of these universities harvard yale uh, southern california university uh, southern carolina uh, southern carolina university and all the major universities in america students of these universities are calling for the ceasefire they are in solidarity with the students of columbia university and this happens because the american the new york city administration arrested 108 students who were peacefully calling who were peacefully laying their demands in front of the university administration to call for ceasefire to call to deinvest from the businesses who are doing that i think power to these people hats off to these students i think this shows that if you have a courage if you have a determination if you have the gumption you can do these things you can stood up and you can convey your message because protesting is the democratic right protesting is the right to express yourself express your opinion and tell the world show the world and ask the world to see what are what are genocidal state what are what uh, what israel is doing with the people of palestine what israel is doing is gaza what israel is doing the genocide in gaza israeli genocide of gaza is killing is eradicating people is annihilating people from gaza they are killing people they are starving people the people in sitting in the lawn of columbia university hats off to them lot of powers to them and i stand with them i stand with the students of columbia university and all those students who are sitting in their lawns in camping in their universities and calling their universities and calling their governments or calling the american government calling the administration biden administration to call for immediate ceasefire to stop sending arms and aid in the name of israeli defense who are killing ethnically cleansing people in palestine whether in gaza or whether in west bank long live palestine allah hafiz from the river to the sea palestine shall be free allah hafiz